Hey guys and welcome. My name is NG Paradox and welcome back to our Belarus Let's Play. Now, uh, it's actually been a while since I've recorded this and it's great to be back. I forgot how much I enjoyed playing this Let's Play. As you can see, the world is actually a very interesting place. Uh, Belarus is massive. Uh, we have the Switzerland, Finland, Denmark, Saxony is still there. France is still massive. Um, and the Byzantines have been crushed by the Abbasids. Um, they've actually moved their capital to uh, Venice, which I thought was quite interesting. Uh, we also have a nice little Croatia here, though they are Christians. Yep, they're Catholic. Uh, the same family as the Lombardies. Yes. Um, obviously with the Teutonic Order down here as well. Massive Teutonic Order. I really like that that happened. That was always quite nice. Uh, we have Rus, Rufania. Um, I think we have a nice world. Uh, the Abbasids obviously down here. Very big. And they seem to have gotten down here. What about the Umeids? The Umeids are doing okay. They have the Asturias growing. Uh, a few problems down here. There's like a Granada. The Catholics managed to get out. But other than that, they seem to be doing okay. They'll probably be fine for a while. So let's continue. Now last time I don't exactly remember what we were doing. I think we're still just trying to raise as much money to continue uh, rebuilding our nation. Because we're all tribal still. So let's get going with that. Um, oh, great holy war for Germany. Well, okay, the mighty high priest Vladimir that it is time to teach King Hildebold of France and the believers in the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All three Slavic men are invited to partake in the scouring of the kingdom of Germany. Are you kidding me? We're attacking Germany? Holy war for Germany against France. Oh my god. Now that is what I call a crusade. They only have 10,000... I'm actually going to join. That's actually pretty amazing. I did not think we'd go against such a massive guy, but if we can take Germany... Oh my god. Imagine the stories. And then we can slowly sweep into this land. Because at the moment the problem I have is it's hard for me to expand. I don't want to expand this way. Because these are all uh, tribal lands. There's a little bit in Rufania. But it's mostly all tribal lands. I, I don't want to take that. That causes problems. They don't even give me troops and whatnot. They don't like me. So we want to expand this way. So we have Bohemia obviously here and Pomerania. But getting Germany out as well would be perfect. So I'm going to join. Let's join our liege. Um, sorry, not, not our liege. Let's join the Holy Rebellion. Okay, we'll get all our men. At the moment, I'm at war with Pomerania, but that's because I'm just trying to help someone else. I don't really actually want to fight. Now, we have quite a large family at the moment as well. Let's have everyone head to Krakow. Our capital, the Great Belarus. I know it's not exactly a Belarus capital, uh, but we're Belarus, and we've made it the capital because it's a good piece of land. So let's get going. Uh, okay, Ransom. Yep, I people in Ransom. As you can see, we're King Sudoslav of Belarus. We are chaste, kind, diligent, and proud, and patient. So he's actually probably a good person. Uh, at the moment, the heir is Prince Igor. Okay, at the moment, he seems to be next in line. We have elective monarchy. Uh, if we can get rid of that, that would be great. But we won't be able to while we're at war, yes. I have to wait till the end of this war. Maybe we can think about doing it. I'm going to choose my son. I already have. Okay. So I have my son, Prince Gleb. He's not that good, though. He has good diplomacy. A bit like me, but I have great learning. Uh, we have lots of brothers there, as you can see. Um, our oldest one is obviously the heir. We have one of them, the war chief, uh, Yesislav of Warriors of Perun, a genius. Became the leader of the Warriors of Perun. Great man. Actually, can we uh, get the Holy Order to join us? Well, I am at war. Oh, I haven't joined the war yet. Okay. Maybe when we join the war, we can call them in. Let's get going then. Okay, perfect. So now we're at war with France. I'm the only one who's joined. <laughs> uh, let's get the Holy Order then. 70 piety, perfect. 
There we go. Gives us an extra 7,000. We could probably take on France on our own. He said he had about 10,000 men. So this could be quite useful. Obviously, we're playing Iron Man, so I do apologize. It will save sometimes. Okay, my son has now become heir. Okay. He became a chief. Um, looks like in Pomerania, our allies won. That's good. We've got some things we need to do. Chancellor. Ah. My brother. Ah, I should probably meet my uncle, because he is... He has got land. Then again, Prince Igor. Hmm. Let's give a... Yeah, he likes me. Let's give a Prince Igor. He's just the best. And he's really good, actually. Uh, so we'll go with him. My heir is unmarried, so my son has now become to age. Um, I would like a claim on Bohemia. If that is okay. Wait, do we have a, a CB already? We do. Okay. She is not married. His oldest daughter. What is their inheritance? Elective gavel kind. Okay. I was going to say maybe if he dies, she could inherit. Yeah, but she would not be able to inherit. And she's pregnant anyway, so she's tainted. Um, let's just leave it for a second. We'll leave it for a second and we'll see if we can marry someone later. But Pannonia is doing very well right now. What allies do I have? So we have Pannonia, uh, Bohemia. So they're both allies already. They're probably the best allies we could have. Uh, the only one I might add is like Ruthania or Pomerania. But I would like to attack Pomerania at some point. My prisoner, let him rot. Oh, I'm kind. I should have changed that. Oh, well. Now we have our prisoners. We can ransom some people. This little girl. Ten gold. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I can't ransom him. How about you? No, we can't ransom you. This guy. Now, what to do with this guy? This guy is Slavic. Ilmanian. And he is a bastard. Is he from our family? No, he's not. I thought he was a bastard child of one of our family members. But apparently not. And the question is what to do with him. I could execute. Uh, have people not like me. I could banish him. Uh, we're seen as a tyrannical thing. Learn people's opinion of me. Uh, I could revoke this. Uh, yeah, people won't care because uh, he's a traitor. So I could take back his piece of land. Which I think is up here. So I could just take that back. And give it to someone else. Even if he is a person who likes me. Chased. I am kind, but I'm diligent, proud, and patient. You know what? I'm going to take it off him and give it to one of my brothers. Because we have many brothers. Um, yeah. Do you know what? Let's do that. Take that off him. And then I can execute. No, I cannot. Um, I can't banish him. Intrigue. Upgrade. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just release him then. There you go. Bye. So we're taking this title off him. And we're going to give it to one of our family. Because we're proud of our family. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep this for myself. Because it's a really bad piece of land. Uh, which one's it called? Which one is this? Okay, it's this one. Act. I'm going to give it to one of my brothers. We'll give it to the oldest brother. He deserves some land. Uh, this one, wasn't it? Yes. Perfect. There we go. He's been sent off. He's no longer the guardian, though. Okay. Be her. I think I should leave it for one second. I think then it puts it back to normal. I could probably put him as one of my council as well. There we go. We can pick him again. So he really likes me now. There we go, Guardian. Yeah, he can do her again. Perfect. Um, has anyone joined? Aha! Oh, wow. Okay, we had people join. Bavaria. Uh, okay, some Brittany people. Knights of the Templar. Italy. Oh, wow. We have Drago uh, My uncle has joined. A lot of our family. Latgale, Sax. No big people, though. Except for me. This could be bad. I feel we're in a weaker position right now. Is Pannonia going to join? Nope. Pannonia's fighting Saxony. Interesting. There's some more people to ransom, I think. Yep. 
Yeah, just give me your 10 gold. It's fine. Uh, these two girls, though, is going to release them because I'm a kind guy. It's not useful me having them. Just makes me look like a bit of a dick, to be honest. Okay, can we do the upgrade this? So we're already upgrading this. I want to upgrade this to a fully one. We're just basically trying to rebuild our whole realm. That's really the thing we need to do. That's the thing about starting with tribal. I think people seem to forget with tribal... The idea is you need to literally build a nation from scratch. Which takes a long time and a lot of money. We have no infrastructure at all. Okay, let's get all our men together. Righteous imprisonment. Uh, why? Lesser Poland. Okay. Anyone else joined? It looks like a few more people joined. This is a load of people, but no really important ones. Hopefully we can get all our army down there. You're still bloody moving from there. Okay. So we're about 11,000 so far. Okay, it looks like people are starting to head into France. There we go. This could be an interesting war. If we can win this, that will really hurt the Christians. And the Christians will be kind of in a weird position. They'll be losing, like, the heartland of Germany. Which is kind of crazy to think, actually. That they could lose that. I kind of want to look what's going on in the rest of the world as well. The Abbasids are just a monster. Uh, it's like the Byzantines have basically been crushed. Stuck in Venice. But let's continue. Excellent news. More gold for all. Uh, I could probably help my vassals rebuild... Want to make sure all the lowest ones build up as well. The ones over here, we're going to rebuild over here in the west first. Try and get a nice group of them built up and kind of head towards the uh, east. So the east will probably be the last places to rebuild for now. But that could change. We'll see how it goes. So we have everyone there apart from this group. So I'm just going to send these guys off. Okay, leaders, who are our best? Alexi, uh, Terentity, uh, my half-brother. Okay, and this guy, Vladimir. We also have this guy, who's not actually on this list. Ah, he's my half-brother, he's the uh, leader. Ah, yes. Inspiring leader. This guy does not have that, but he is a genius. And he is part of the Holy Order, so it makes sense to have him. We're just going to head straight into Germany. 11,000 men. Let's go. We can join up with some... Oh, 20,000 men. If we can try and get some of our allies to join us, we might be... Unless they just keep getting... Just, look at that. They're just running into them. Our allies are buffoons. I'm just going to delete you because uh, 85 men doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I feel like we're screwed here at the moment. We have... Our allies just ran into them, got destroyed... Hardly anyone else is helping. It's not... Look at that, Jesus. But they're all so small. We need big lords. They have Lombardy and Bavaria to help. The Knights Templar there with 9,000 men. Damn them. Damn them all. Can we get some money? We could get some mercenaries, but I don't even know our help right now. Well, we need for you guys to come with us. Everyone should join my army. Everyone. Just join up with us. Okay, yes. Yeah, just try and get to a... Uh, God damn. 3,000 men just destroyed. 1,000 down here. Um, 1,000 up here. 1,000 up here. Yeah, there's hardly any men at all. Let, let's try and... If I jump into that one, they were screwed. We're crossing the river. They're going to jump in. In one second, we'd be screwed. Yep. They'll just jump in. Where are they going? Okay, they're heading away. But they've lost that battle already. We need our allies to come and join me. Who are the people who will join us? So we have some men up here. Very small though. 1,000 up here. 499. Yeah, really, I can't see us winning. Which would have been great. It would have been great for us to win. I can't see us actually defeating that 20,000 man army right now. All the few men we have. 
We have to wait for an opportunity. I really thought this would have been amazing, but I don't think we get this opportunity to do that. Yep. The small armies just keep getting themselves into danger. Look, they're just going past us. What the hell are these people thinking? We have 11,000 men here. Come on, guys. Join me. <sighs> Can't take on that 19,000, though. Well, this is a problem. Could go down and attack Germany. Austrian revolt. With that 19,000 men there. There's not much I can do. This is going to hurt us hard. Won't make much difference to me though, because I still have my men. But it's going to hurt our morale quite a bit. Uh, the moral authority, 71%. Uh, oh, okay. We got pretty high, actually. That's not a big deal, I guess. This is a shame. I, can't, I guess I'm kind of just disappointed we don't get to take Germany. Would have been great. I think it was a bit ambitious, to be honest. If I'm to be perfectly honest, I do think it was a bit ambitious. 2,000 men here, that wouldn't be enough either. Uh, no one else had enough men. If only Pannonia... If only Pannonia had come to help. Can I invite him or something? Nope. Nope. If only we had Bohemia and Pannonia. Pannonia, sorry. They'd both join us. And Rufania, even. They're all busy at war with Saxony. So he's attacking Pomerania, and they've all gone to help. Yep, all the kings have gone to help Pomerania. Maybe if I help in that war, they'll come and join this war. Let's go help in that war, then. Let's send our men to go help against Pomerania. Maybe if we win that, they'll send their men to help. Zem Gale has been updated. Okay. And last one. Perfect. And then we'll have a proper lordship there. Uh, checking everything yet. My son's next in line. We have three half-brothers who still have no lands, except for this one. Okay, he's a bastard. Old Slavic. Okay, so we have a bastard. And two other half-brothers. Need to give it that 20,000 men. What to do, what to do. Yeah, let's go here and take the capital. That should defeat Pomerania. Yeah, but our, uh, our allies won't help against that. Obviously. Are we losing money because we went against them? Just want to make sure. No, no, no. Because I know we have the faith with us. You know, the warriors of Perun. 18,000 there, 16,000 here. Ah, maybe even with the destruction of Pomerania, it might still be impossible. We'll have to wait and see. But I think we have to defeat these guys. That will free the other Slavic lords, or kings, to be able to release their men. My son, Prince Rogvolod. He became ambitious, diligent, and strong. Wow, he became a great general. Hopefully he can protect his brother. His brother's the talker. He is the muscles. The Knights nice Templar running around. Yeah, I can't assault it still. Okay. There we go. Now, hopefully people will join. Let's go down, see what happens. Maybe people will join. No. Oh, yeah, so that's war with Saxony. So I saw one of them was at war with Pomerania. Yeah, that war Saxon. Hopefully that gives them a better chance to defeat the Saxons. Okay. You've been studying alchemy recently for the sole purpose of learning everything you can about poisons. You've learned the answers to important questions such as which poisons are the most potent, which are the most difficult to detect, and how best to guard against them. This knowledge may save my life one day. Perfect. Perfect. 